Yo, what is good? YouTube, Krishan checking back in with another video. In my last video, I did a small segment on Matt Jansen saying he may be potentially retiring from coaching, but one of his former clients actually put out a video just kind of describing the person that Matt is and Matt Jansen. We need answers. So none other than Quentin Araya, Quint Beastwood, one of my favorite personalities in the sport, went on his YouTube channel and made about a 20 minute video talking about the situation between him and Matt Jansen. Now, with the video being so long, you guys definitely have to go watch it. But I'm just going to touch on a couple of points that Quentin Araya made. I'm also going to talk about how I feel about Nick and Matt Jansen, as well as Sean Clarita and Matt Jansen. So be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and watch it all the way through to the end. But let's start off with letting Quentin Araya talk. And what did Matt Jansen say went wrong with Quint earlier this year? Let's find out. Um, uh, listen, he, he, he must have never worked with somebody like me. Uh, I don't know. But I thought it was just a me thing, and I definitely took it a little bit personal because he gaslit me after it, and he said that my gear was fake. Yes, guys, he told me my gear was fake. It wasn't the two hours of fucking cardio that I was doing because you were afraid I wasn't gonna show up in shape. It wasn't the two hours of cardio, it was my gear was fake. Now, there's your accountability after, and people are wondering why I fired him. I'm like, well, how do you continue to work with someone when you can't agree on what the problem was? The problem was, it was a miscalculation. You know, it was a complete miscalculation for weeks, months of the prep, you know, so as you guys just heard, Matt Jansen himself told Quentin Araya the reason he wasn't at his best at the show was because he was using fake gear, which I think is pure BS. But Quentin goes into more detail. As a coach, why did it take you so long to realize that a guy was using fake gear if there was the issue? But again, I think the fake gear issue was a bunch of BS and Matt is basically just trying to cover up his mistakes. And again, it was his first time working with Quint, so we can give him a little bit of grace. But Quint is very pissed that he took all of that time off. He dedicated his whole life to the sport just to be let down. And Matt told him it was because of fake gear. Just unbelievable. But Quint did put out a full video once again. I will link it in the description. You guys should definitely go watch that. Now, let's talk about Nick Walker and Matt Jansen. And I'm going to go way back. This was a red flag I noticed years ago. Nick said if he ever wins the Mr. Olympia, Matt Jansen will receive the Sandow, which is an absurd statement. Why as an athlete would you give your coach your Sandow? I know that you love your coach. These coaches do everything for the athletes. But why in the world would you win the Mr. Olympia and give the Sandow to your coach? Anyway, that was said years ago. As of recent, Nick Walker pulled out of the Mr. Olympia because Matt Jansen said his physique wasn't ready. Referring back to Quentin Araya, Quentin said, why did it take you so long to learn his physique wasn't responding? Why you didn't notice that at 14 or 15 weeks out? And then we hear more comments about fake gear. Matt has literally been rumored to have the best gear that a coach has in the sport of bodybuilding. I'm not buying that his athletes have fake gear. And I am pretty upset, guys, because I think we all read through the lines about Matt Jansen. But Quentin Araya coming out about this statement, well, coming out with the video, it just makes it real. From the outside looking in, it seems like Jansen is more focused on business than his clients. Quentin Araya did not have a good showing this year. Nick Walker did not even make it to the O. And don't worry, we're going to talk about Sean Clarita last, which is the situation that has me the most frustrated regarding Matt Jansen. I hope that Nick decides to move to a new coach. It's possible that Matt is going to retire, but I hate that Nick puts so much trust so much of his heart, his brain, his sweat, his tears, his blood into Matt Jansen and Matt just doesn't seem to be a good guy. And last but not least, let's talk about the giant killer, Sean Clarita. And again, this is the situation I'm most frustrated about surrounding Matt Jansen. So at the Olympia, I don't think it was a miscalculation with Sean. I don't think that there was communication issues. Being completely honest, from my point of view, Matt Jansen flat out fucked over Sean Clarita. And I really hate it. This guy is the giant killer. You brought him in entirely too small. Yes, he was conditioned. But Sean didn't even look like the same bodybuilder we've been seeing over the past two or three years. Honestly, it was very, very tough. And I know it was tough for Sean Clarita seeing him second at this year's Olympia and not even being close to Keon. If Carrot or Angel was a little bit better, Sean Clarita could have dropped below second. And yes, I'm placing all of this on Matt Jansen. These are athletes. They can make their own decisions, but they put a lot of trust in this guy. And Matt seems to let every single one of them down at least this past year. 
So, you guys have heard my frustrations. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness. This is the end of Matt Jansen, and I'm out.